Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to print to a PDF file format in Windows 10. So what's very nice about Windows 10 is that it will allow you to print to PDF natively. And there actually is a feature built into Windows that will allow you to do this. And you do not need to use any third party software online or on your computer. It's all built into Windows. So while there's different ways to do it with various web browsers, I'm going to be showing how to print to PDF files within Windows 10. I might do independent videos regarding different web browsers, but this tutorial will apply more to actually just using the main computer. So let's say we have a Microsoft Word document here. So I'm just going to open up Word. This will be one of the first scenarios we are going to go through in this tutorial. And I will go through a few different um, applications just so you guys kind of get an idea for what I'm talking about here. So let's say I open up a blank document. And then I just type in test. Doesn't really matter what Word document it is. And then let's say we go up to the file tab at the top and then we left click on the print. We can actually select Microsoft Print to PDF which is the feature. If you had other printers in here you could select them as well. So if we're going to select Microsoft Print to PDF this will convert this Word document to a PDF file. So then if you left click on print You're going to be prompted to save it in a certain location on your computer. You can name whatever you want. I'm just going to do Word to PDF. And you can see under Save as Type, this kind of goes into the next example I would go into. And that's how you can actually save as a type of file. So if you look on this little drop down arrow, we can see there's a PDF option. With a lot of other files and file formats, you'll have this option as well. So there might be more options under here, under this drop down, but usually a PDF document is one of them. So I'm just going to left click on save. So I accidentally saved in the documents folder, so we're just going to open that up instead. So I'm just going to search up documents. I intend to save it to desktop, but it's okay, we still get the same point here. And we can see that it's currently a PDF file format underneath type. And if I double clicked on it, I actually do not have a PDF reader installed on this computer, but we are able to open it up through the Microsoft Edge web browser. So I'm going to just select that option just to give you guys a point of that it is a PDF file. And if you did have Adobe Reader or Adobe XI installed on your computer, it would also show you this pretty much the same way. This is just um, Microsoft Edge version of a PDF reader. So if you close out of that, let's say we had a picture and we wanted to convert it to a PDF file format. So we could actually, let's just say I ran the snipping tool. Take a screenshot of this. So if I left click on the file tab at the top and then I left click on print or you could also hold down control P on your desktop. You can see we also have another option here to print to the PDF file format and this is if we even just took a screenshot and we wanted to save it in a PDF file. So I'm going to cancel out of this and let's just say I want to save it to the desktop. So I have this screenshot here, it should be in a PNG file format. So if you just give it a minute to load, then I went up to the more options button on the top and then left click on print. Again, we can see we have the ability to print to the PDF file format. Just keep in mind if you have other printers installed on your computer, it'll be listed here as well. Just uh, make sure you select Microsoft Print to PDF. Now I'm not sure if I've already mentioned this in this tutorial, but you can pretty much do the same thing with web browsers as well. And I might make independent tutorials focusing on that. 
But just keep that in mind, there's a lot of different ways to print to a PDF file format. Very useful if you do not want to actually print a file out, or if you're trying to upload a file to a certain website and it doesn't let you upload Word documents or other file types. So kind of a nice little trick to know. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.